welcome back to my channel so guys i didn't want to make this type of video on my channel specifically because i don't like the negative like videos or anything but i'm sure you guys haven't seen my comments under my videos and if you guys have been watching me since the beginning of when i first got pregnant which was last year a whole year ago guys i said in the beginning that i wanted my donor to remain anonymous i obviously knew the do my donor's name now a whole bunch of other people know my donor's name because i have people commenting underneath my videos my donor's name which i really don't i i don't even know how to explain it like i feel like that's not respecting my decision like i said in the beginning like me and angie have a signed contract with him he has no rights over lila um no type of communication i haven't spoke to him since um around the time i was like 16 weeks when we found out the gender the last time i spoke to him was in february yeah february 2018 that was the last time and it's because he said he cuts contact with all the people he spent he sends his sperm to he for that reason because he is a donor that does not want any contact with the babies right okay so that's one reason why we picked him because he wanted to remain anonymous that's what we wanted to sign contract i made that video for a reason i do not want people to keep commenting his name and i don't mean to come off like i'm like shouting or anything like that but now everyone knows his name and now people are looking him up on facebook and they're trying to get a hold of him because of my story my story is that he sent me sperm for free no charge of it getting mailed to me or no charge for really anything at all since i shared my story now everyone was contacting him to have the same thing done for them and that's not how it goes like not for nothing like i'm i appreciate him a lot that we were so lucky to find a donor like him that for some reason he said he wasn't gonna charge us for anything that he just likes to help people that really can't have kids like obviously us it's not that easy we're two females we can't have a baby that quick or that easy there's a lot of steps to like going to the clinic and you know taking angie's egg and all that like we got lucky you know and that's that's our story now i don't need people to start like bashing my story like i was getting harassed guys after i found out i was pregnant with lila um i had multiple girls writing to me saying i needed to tell them who my donor was i needed to give them his information i needed to tell them his race all this i even got into an argument with someone that kept making fake page after fake page asking me the same question i put two and two together that it was the same person you know me and angie basically had to um not like a like right back in like a mean way but basically i had to let the person know that they have no right to tell me that i have to tell them who my sperm donor is yeah we were getting harassed for a little bit well i really was and i had to start blocking people on my social media um and then it started up again last week which i really i really didn't expect this part of it guys but i was on instagram and i got a request from someone she's telling me in these messages she's saying that i have to okay let me start from the beginning she wrote to me saying god bless your daughter she is so beautiful i use the same sperm donor as you blah 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 blah, blah. that people are asking me questions i love that guys this is why i do youtube this is why i recorded like us getting pregnant the whole process but she started with um Oh, my daughter was born August 21st. Um, your daughter has to meet all her siblings. And once I read that, I was like, here we go. So I ignored her. She saw that I read it and I ignored her. Then she writes back to me again and she says, um, oh no. And then I got another message from a different lady a couple days later, same type of text message. And then she comes out with, I know you said in one of your videos that you didn't want Lila to meet any of her siblings. Let me pause it right there, guys. Just because my sperm donor has sent his sperm to other females or partners having kit that are trying to conceive does not mean that I have to take Lila to see 
God knows maybe 200 other kids that to meet all of them like not for nothing but if that's how it was supposed to be that every every couple that tried to have a baby has to take their kid that is probably years old to meet all these other people that were made by the same sperm but that's not their father but was made by the same sperm you tell me if that makes sense why should i have to sit here and introduce my daughter to god knows how many babies were made from the same sperm when she's our daughter right our daughter siblings yes i know there's stepfather stepmother step siblings whatever but that's not the case this is completely different it's different to to basically tell someone that they have to meet someone because they're made out of the same sperm but i don't even know you if you guys don't agree with me that's fine everyone has their own opinion but i'm just letting everyone know that i am not happy with all the messages i've been receiving they've really been getting to me because I think I said this in multiple videos from when I was pregnant in the beginning that I don't want people writing who my sperm donor is because I know some people have seen him post it on his um, Facebook page. He posted my video on his Facebook page and that's basically the video that everyone watches when they have questions on how to insert the sperm or the process. I explained how I got in contact with him. Basically like my story and if you guys didn't see that. Um, I'm gonna leave the link down below to how we got pregnant But like I said, it's anonymous. Okay guys. I just want you guys to respect my decision mine and Andy's decision on not saying who the sperm donor is um, We do want to use them in the future if we do decide to have kids again So I do want everyone to respect that we don't want him Publicly posted if you know that's fine. Just don't post it where other people are gonna see it here with the whole sibling thing there is no siblings now let's move on to the next topic so i thought that i would make this video too on how it feels to be a first time mom guys i love it like i love every second of it it gets hard because lila is colicky so at night around like seven to about maybe like nine o'clock at night all she does is cry or she's just really cranky she gets really gassy at night or she just doesn't want to go to sleep but when it comes to the part of putting her to sleep at first or like getting her to wake up from her nap those are the main two hard things like we know her hungry cry we know like when her diaper is wet she's growing up put her on her tummy for tummy time and she rolls right over onto her back by herself she doesn't need any help at all so hopefully that means she'll be crawling very soon Oh, the other night we realized we put her on her back and she was like lifting her head up and her arms up like she's ready to start sitting up so I sit her up most of the day so she can get used to it. Guys, she laughs a lot. I'm gonna insert a clip. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come baby. Hey. <laughs> It's okay. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna have to do this so this doesn't happen again. Yeah, so that was her laughing. Like she's just she's just so smart, guys. She watches Word Party on Netflix. She watches Boss Baby the season. Um, the two seasons. She's finished them oh my god. I think we watched both seasons about like 20 times maybe. She loves it, and then the little girl with like the the little pigtail, the little bad baby, she is so in love with her. When she sees her doing bad stuff, Lila starts to laugh. Like she knows what she's doing, she's so funny. Guys, she likes to take baths, and she just chills. She kicks her feet around. But she's a mini me, she's my twin. If I could find a picture of me when I was a baby, I'll put them together like in a collage, and I post it here too. So you guys can see what I mean. She really is my twin. And she does not have hazel green eyes anymore. They're actually really light brown, which is really cute on her too. And her chubby little cheeks, they're never going away. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys comment down below and hit that subscribe button right there. Don't miss it. It's right there, guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.